Hej mamma. Hej mamma. <coughs> so what are you guys gonna do? I need to get through there. Hey, what are we going to do? There we go. Come on, you guys can need to get moving. <clears throat> You're right in the trail. So I just, uh, <clears throat> Mummy and baby weren't moving, so I just went up into the woods and just circled around them. They seem pretty content where they are, so there's no sense alerting them, alarming them. Awesome, my first two moose. Oh. Today's been a tough slog. Um, about 10 clicks, or about 11.6 clicks in. Uh, I'm at the Maline River. Uh, so it, I got into my tent last night and uh, started raining. I mean, it rained most of the night, I think. It was, uh, uh, it rained pretty hard. So, I got up this morning and I knew that there was a whole pile of willows here ahead of me. So, uh, yeah, I put on my rain gear and, and everything and started out. And uh, it ended it just got friggin' drenched in, uh, in the willows. There was just so much water and uh, on them. So, anyways, I'm just drying out here a little bit now. And so now I have to. This little river here uh, it's not gonna be not gonna be hard at all but uh, yeah I just gotta get my feet wet and uh, it'll be up to the knees so um, yeah last few days I've been kind of contemplating you know the rest of the trail and and uh, yeah I think the, I think I come to some conclusions um, you know, it's, this this last section's been been lonely. I, uh, you know, section D. I, you know, I was hiking with with Rory quite a bit, and I was hiking with uh, with Andrew and Lucy, and and having a good time. Well, this this uh, this section hasn't been as hard, but I've I've found it harder for some reason. You know, just camping by myself all the time and. Uh, it's yeah I don't know so I am and, and I'm starting to get some I think some plantar fasciitis in my feet and I've been thinking that uh, you know what I I started this trail with James I'd like to finish it with him and so I'm I'm thinking about postponing sections F and G north of uh, Jasper uh, maybe till next year but yeah so that's yeah i got some other stuff there's a uh when i left the saskatchewan crossing there was a little bit of crisis at home and uh yeah i just got one other thing to add so you know if 
section F and G is uh, it's like 12, 13 days. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a long time to be alone. So with this section and then that, be close to 20 days, you know, be by myself. And I think I would rather hike that section with somebody else. That's, uh, well, like I said, I, I'm still missing James on trail. I think uh, it'd be nice to have somebody to, you know, pick you up when you're not feeling good or, you know, joke around with and and yeah so it's I think I made my decision and uh, yeah I got I don't think I'm good with it you know 800 kilometers is still a long ways and uh, yeah I'm proud of it yeah so sitting here at uh, Moline River just gonna show you my views where I've been eating lunch so I have been coming up the valley here from that way. And there you can see all the willows that I've been going through. Huh. So I am uh, about five kilometers from Moline Lake. Uh, this, uh, the, uh, the willow bashing has finally stopped. Uh, so I'm, I think I have good trail here this last five clicks. It's, today was a, was a pretty tough day. Uh, soak and wet, I'm finally out of my rain gear. I just got out of my rain pants here, it's three o'clock, so. Um, yeah, didn't really feel like videoing much. Wasn't really a lot to see. And uh, yeah, that's it. To, Hopefully tomorrow will be Skyline. Um, only about two clicks from uh, Moline Lake. So I uh, came across a little valley. Starting across some day hikers now and stuff. So almost out, almost done. So um, made it to Moline Lake last night or yesterday afternoon. Uh, met a, an amazing couple from uh, the Netherlands. I was uh, I was about a kilometer and a half from the trailhead, and uh, it sat down to have a little snack and a and a just drink of water. And uh, this, these day hikers come by, and uh, yeah, so I got talking to them. And you know, since I hadn't really talked to a lot of people for the last five six days, and I. I uh, I was gabbing away at them, and we started hiking out together. So we hiked out to the out to the lake, and uh, so they just they were vacationing uh, in Canada for for 21 days. And uh, so I asked them if they were on a bus tour or if they had a car, and uh, they had a car. So I asked them if they're heading back to Jasper, and uh, I ended up catching a ride. They dropped me off right at the hostel, so I didn't have to hitchhike anything. It was uh, it actually worked out really well amazing couple so uh, definitely trail angels for me as well and uh, so I've I've wrestled with and come to a decision that uh, my my hike it for this year is is ending in Jasper I mean I, I did fine and and I I'm sure I could continue but um, just you know what wasn't having the fun that I did with with hiking with James. Uh, if he decides to hike the GDT next year or the year after, when he gets to Jasper, I'll be here to to finish it off with him. Um, another part of it was my, my diet. I, I didn't diversify what I was eating enough and eating the same thing over and over again. Like uh, you know, I'd made I dehydrated a ton of hummus and uh, and. I like I liked it. So it was, it was hummus. Uh, I powdered it, or I dehydrated it and powdered it, and and it it rehydrates perfect, right? But eating that every day for lunch with with like uh, nacho chips and olive oil, I, I, I couldn't even stomach it anymore. So the the whole last week, I really wasn't eating lunch. So and so I don't think I was getting enough calories into me, and. As a result, 
wasn't really hiking as fast as I should. So it extended my days and it just kind of snowballed. So it's, you know, I'm, not, I'm getting into camp later. When I'm getting into camp, I'll, all I have is these dehydrated meals that I've thrown together and I can, that I've been eating the whole time. And I didn't even, I had to, it was everything I could do to just jam them down my neck at night. So I, uh, it, you know, and, and even sometimes I wouldn't even want to eat. So it, and then that would, it was just kind of snowballing on me. So, you know, being, being by myself and, uh, and then, you know, not eating, maybe not eating as well or not having as many calories as I should, could finish the two weeks and, and get it done. But the last three, four days just seemed like a slog. And I think, uh, I think I've made the right decision. I'm, I'm good with it. And uh, yeah, so you know what? GDT 2023 um, or, or 2024. So it's up to, you know, uh, it's up to James. And uh, so anyways, he's, uh, he's coming to Red Deer to pick me up right now. It's, it's a three hour drive for him. And yeah, he's a good dude. I'm, I'm lucky to have uh, become friends with him. So. so yeah, so he's coming to get me. We're gonna probably uh, have dinner with Rory tonight. Uh, it's a final farewell and get him sent north. And this is officially the, my last uh, video for uh, GDT 2022. And uh, you know, GDT 2023, yeah. sections F and G to be continued.